So we will come to the fifth part of the ancestral clearing. And that is talking about the ancestral clearing for the land that we live on. So when we talk about the ancestral clearing for the land that we live on, firstly, हमारा जिस धरती पर जन्म रहता है उसके साथ हमारा कुछ पुराना एनर्जेटिक तालुकात रहे हैं अगर वो ना होते तो हम उस धरती पे जन्म ना लेते दूसरी चीज देन यू गेट मैरिड एंड गो समेर और वेर एवर यू नो यू शिफ्ट प्लेसेस so everywhere that you go around the planet here america ye wo wherever you know you have an energetic balance to that land yeah and there is something called historical something called collective yeah the historical collective ancestral energy that we have to clear and sometimes what happens is like any of the land that we have put our feet on us land ki ek apna uski history hai jaise hamari family history hai hamari genetic history hai हमारा डीएनए हिस्ट्री है वैसे उस धरती की हिस्ट्री है या? तो और अगर धरती की हिस्ट्री है तो उसके साथ ट्रॉमा साथ में है या? जैसे किसी भी लैंड पे स्लेवरी हुई किसी भी लैंड पे लड़ाई हुई किसी भी यू नो वॉरफेयर as i say the words it's already showing up in your body yeah it's already showing up the words will give your body the space it is already indicating you know yahan hai yahan hai yahan hai there yeah? so what happens is that this ancestral energy of the land and any of the land that we have traveled is always because all of us are made of the same elements the five elements yeah so uske sath bhi hame ek hamara kuch len den hai kuch hamara you know inheritance hai aur kuch hamara energy balance rehta hai yeah so everywhere that you have debts to the land everything that is are you ready to let that go now there are past lives which are attached to that ancestral inheritance and what are the past lives that have been have they been talking to you has the energy of the past lives been talking to you yeah and what is that energy that has been talking to you how has it been talking to you like even when she is she was talking about you know feeling pain is it that the land is asking for some some contribution from you yeah because land ko balance karne ke liye sirf hum hain uska energy balance karne ke liye hum hain yeah to jab hum aap dekhega ki kisi ka five elements mein se kisi ka earth ke sath bahut zyada connection rehta hai kisi ka pani ke sath bahut rehta hai किसी को पानी से डर लगता है 
किसी को फायर के साथ रहता है किसी को फायर बहुत अच्छी लगती है किसी को फायर घिनौनी लगती है किसी को फायर को देख के हमेशा क्रेमेटोरियम याद आ जाता है आप ये देखिए कि ये सारा जो है सारा ये पांच तत्वों का खेल है और जिस धरती पर हम रह रहे हैं उसका जो भी एक कलेक्टिव एनर्जी रहता है उसमें हमारा भी हमारा भी पार्ट है श्री इज राइटिंग मुझे फायर से डर लगता है बिकॉज आई हैव you know this is a very in depth study which gives the clarity about you know anywhere that we have yeah like how many people will be able to do bungee jumping so jinka space se issue rehta hai unse bungee jumping nahi aur hum kaise usko calculate karte rahe hum kehte dar hai dar of heights hai we talk about that yeah But anybody, if you've cleared this, the ancestral energy of space, yeah, the fifth element, you know, you will see that you will have height. Say, you will not have vertigo. Can you have vertigo? Yeah, you will not have vertigo. 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 what is their history what is their history of their life and how are they going about it yeah so anything to ask about this or you know we shall because there's nothing much to explain on this it's it's much more to clear because the more we clear the easier things become yeah so everywhere that we are associated with the pain of the land everywhere the land was angry because all that was done on it yeah it could be terrorism everything that is silent i here let's close our eyes let's be in a comfortable space
and whatever. energy that does not allow us to connect to the land all the land that we treaded till date everywhere that we have an energetic residual debris to that land, to all the lands that we visited ever, all of that are we ready to go. Let that come on the topmost layer. energy bubbling inside and that bubbling energy inside has been desiring to come out and everywhere that we have not been allowing it to come out Are we ready for that? So all the unconditional love that the land is looking for. The radical forgiveness That the land is looking for and the deep compassion that the land is looking for are you in this time ready to give that to the land Wherever the land, the earth, the planet that we treaded had been sizzling in the land. The anger that the land had to go through the anger of the people that lived on it, that did slavery on it, that war, that fought wars on it. Jaha par bhi land ko misuse, abuse ki hagya. Are you in this time ready to connect to that? Everything that does not allow you. Are you in this time out to go all lengths, all depths, all levels, all layers, all lifetimes, all dimensions to heal it. How is it that 
the land holds energy. How is it that when we go to a temple, a mosque, a Gurudwara Sahib, we, we start embracing peace there. Is it in the hymns that they sing? Is it in the people? Is it in the sacred waters? Or is it that land? And everywhere that anything which is practiced as high in vibration will start imparting high vibration and will start imparting peace and calm. The land has a language. There is a language of fear, there is a language of peace, there is a language of aggression, there is a language of fury, there is a language of hate. Have you ever experienced in your life in a house that is full of agony, where you are unable to identify? There doesn't seem anything wrong, however, everything seems wrong. As you do not know what is the root cause. Everywhere that the historical, collective, ancestral energies that are gross in the land of that house, everything matters. Are you this time ready to let that? This greatness of the residual energies that are talking to you already are telling that the land is not for accumulating fear. The planet is not for accumulating fear. It is the fertile energy. And fertility alone Everywhere that you have not been able to have fertile lives, fertile relationships, fertile bank accounts, fertile health, fertility as in progeny. 
Is that associated with this land? Has the land been asking you for help, crying for help? Lamenting for help. Jaise hum kisi cheez ko vidai dete hain. Kya wo dharti. Is gross energy se. Is dense energy se. Vidai. चाह रही है और क्या ये विदाई है आपके थ्रू होनी है आपका उस धरती से क्या ऐसा जोड़ है जो आपने उस पर जन्म लिया और फिर वहां कहा हर जगह चले everywhere and you've not been able to contribute enough and we hold that inheritance we hold that lineage we hold that energy balance in our bodies everything that does not allow To recognize that, to release that, to be at peace releasing, to give ease to Everywhere that we have been buying and selling property. Or kaha dharti ka mol tol karna sharu karte. Magar ye golden age mein nahi tha. Har cheez ka aapko हर चीज का मोल तो है anything less than the mother about the land that we treaded and we are treading even today it is on the bosom of the mother and she has it in. and she fed us so well With all fertility, with all that is grown here, with the land being so alluvial, and everywhere that we have created the concrete structures, we have created concrete within. the residual energy of that heart that is functioning in us, in our bodies. And 
desire to hold any hurt. It does not desire to hold on to any anger, any hate, any fury, any rage. और जिन जिन लोगों को ज्यादा एंकर इशू रहता है जिन जिन लोगों को ज्यादा रिएक्टिव इशू रहता है इज इट एक्चुअली टाइम to release this are they aware of the anger of the earth is this anger theirs or is it of the earth ऐसी ऐसी चीजें भी क्यों इंसेस्ट्रल हो जाती है उस धरती के मालिक ही उसमें क्या में क्या फर्क आ जाता है जो हम लोगों के शरीरों में दिखना शुरू हो जाता है हमारे एटीट्यूड्स में हमारे बिहेवियर में हमारे कैरेक्टर्स में और कैरेक्टर्स जो है वो कलंकित हो जाते हैं मन बुद्धि शरीर सब एवरीवेयर दैट इट इज शोइंग अप इन योर बॉडीज at least 3 inches above your navel what do you like to connect to that space and from there just give it to the earth people who have been having digestive issues anything related to the stomach anything related to constipation anything related to the digestive juices if there is or more that the body is creating the acid flux it is talking about the ancestral energies in environment with the land Just notice the crossness of the vertices.
open your right shoulder. What is it that you're trying to make right? अपने विचारों को राइट बनाना चाहते हैं प्रूव करना चाहते हैं अपनी पेन को राइट प्रूव करना चाहते हैं या प्लानट की पेन को राइट पूरा करना चाहते हैं All of this energy that is ancestral historical collective which is talking about the ancestral collective trauma that is creating unrest that is creating agony in your shoulder are you ready to take that anywhere that people are having issues in their joints one joint many joints arthritis rheumatoid arthritis anything which is connected to the joints let's connect to that any of the pains in the joints any of the less grease in the joints any of the cartilages that have depleted over time in the joints let's intensify all the energy Rows energy is there. जिसको किसी भी joints में issue नहीं है, we have to still be with them. And anything that is lying in the gaseous form, which might show up. in a few years from now taking away that crossness right away right now
everywhere that you have been having five generations behind which you are aware of you have had issues in the joints let's go back Let's clear all the energies. It was passed on as ancestry inheritance, and we thought it was so. We made it genetic. However, it was energetic. We did not know how to release it, but today we are. Willing to release that. Some lands are such. People have similar issues, even if they are not from the same family. The people who live there. So everything that they have picked up. from the energy of the land and now that has become a part of their selves the cellular memory and the muscular memory of their bodies Are you in this time ready to release that? Releasing the ancestral energy for the planet. the land you are actually healing the land and in that healing we are healing ourselves All the sadness that the land is holding is showing up as sadness in our minds, bodies, circumstances. The sadness that it has depleted over time. But the glory. Has become less. It is not like as it was in the golden age.
across energies. Uh, showing up under the rib cage. Is it actually talking about the rib cage of the planet? Is it talking about the rib cage of the planet that you own? All the lands that you traveled. Let's ask the synergy to expand. Let's answer this man at the last time. Everywhere it has traveled to your left fist, right fist. And breathe through it. How heavy the chest of the land must be. How difficult it is for us to be a heavy part of the world. How difficult it must be for the, for the land to have a heavy chest. Here of all the struggles from Excels to this morning. Brilliant light from him, allowing it to see into our bodies the sponge soaks. It is as one of us soak 
these brilliant energies and keep soaking them. Keep soaking them. Keep soaking them. And especially take this brilliant energy, the golden bright light, into all the spaces that you have just cleared for yourself. In your body, that had been lying within you, within your cells, within your muscular cell, infinite years, ancestral energy of the land. And let this light fill you up. Fill up those spaces that you just healed for yourself and the land. And start pouring out the excess golden light. to the land. And just multiply it. And just amplify it. And then making it bigger and better. Appreciating it firstly. Secondly, thanking it for bearing with us. Thirdly, thanking it for letting us know that and had chosen us to heal it. And fourthly, being in gratitude for the guidance that the land has been given. Which showed up as decision today. So that it could help heal you and all your lineage and all the generations to come. That has changed the of your DNA. can just be with its energy. Keep honoring it. It will ask you to take a lot of rest. Just honor it and be with it. And anything that comes up, you can put it on the group. Thank you.